Good afternoon. After literally years of saving and chipping away at my Best Buy credit card balance, I finally acquired the Mavic Air. Let's go fly. We're gonna run through some quick feature tests. Let's start with slow-mo. This is the standard 120 frames per second at 1080p and then I slowed it down to 75% its speed in post-production. That's what this looks like. And then I slowed it down to half the speed in post-production. It's a little bit choppy, not as smooth as I would like, but still, it's nice to have that flexibility. See this branch here? It's what stopped the drone from going forward. So the obstacle avoidance does work and the proximity sensors are awesome. So awesome, in fact, that on the way back, it moved the gimbal because it stopped so hard. Next, I tried out the cinematic mode where that's the classic drone-y flyaway and it worked fantastically. Stability in high winds was also very good. Although it does make the motors, those little poor motors, work really hard, it remains decently stable in high wind conditions, but it won't last quite as long. Next, I tried out the photo mode, and even with the sun in its eyes, it actually took a pretty good picture. Next, I tried the gesture controls. You could send it away and you could also raise it up. All the stuff that I've been hearing about the gesture controls being gimmicky and not really useful, I disagree with. One of the most exciting things about this drone to me and a big reason why I bought it is the active track technology that it has in it. The drone will follow you wherever you go and I was delighted by how well it worked, plus the ability to use your hand to reposition it if you need to make an adjustment without having to go and pick up the controller again. And as an added bonus, you can even tell it to land. Next, I tested its ability to automatically avoid obstacles while backing up or going forward while also tracking an object. And I have to say, I was quite impressed with these results as well. Getting this bodaciously sexy piece of machinery could not have been possible without the patrons. Starting with the Scotties that pay anywhere from 12, wait, 10 to $15 a month, and they are Stuart Glover, Kyler, Eric Price, Stephen Nichols, Nick Hawks, Spidget, Sin O, Josh Utley, Shannon Jones, Unit Omega, and Christopher Caswell. Get up. I stay with my Scotties. My Scotties are my boys. I ride with them. And I put that on the generation. Next, we have the Super Beamers anywhere from $5 to $6 a month, of which there's only one, and that is Albert. And finally, we have the Beamers anywhere from $1 to $2 a month, and those consist of Encrypted Bunny and Excelsior. Keep filming while flying and stay beaming. <laughs> away at my Best Buy uh,